Hi, I'm Nick Moore. Have you ever needed to send an HDMI signal further than the limitations of HDMI normally allow? For example, you might have two cables joined together that previously could send a 1080p signal and now you want to send 4K and you don't get a picture. Or you might just need to extend a new signal run through a wall or through a table to get a long distance to a display. In this film, we're going to show you how you can use Kramer products to achieve those desired results. So to start with, we're going to show a typical application, which is a 10 meter run uh, with 4K to the Panasonic screen. And you'll see that it comes up in a second with 3840 by 2160 at 30 hertz. Now, however, I want to move my laptop further away from the screen by another 10 meters question is, am I going to get a picture if I just use an ordinary passive join? And we're going to demonstrate that now. So now we're going to join two 10 meter cables together using a passive adapter. And uh, we're not expecting a picture. And the reason we're not expecting a picture is that 20 meters with a passive adapter is too far to send a 4K signal. But the need still remains. We still need to link these two 10 meter cables together. So how do we do that? Well, we have for a while been able to use the Kramer PT3H2. And when I connect the two cables together with the PT3H2, we should see an image. So now I'm going to plug the PT3H2 into the original 10 meter cable plus the additional 10 meter cable and making sure I connect the input to the input and the output to the output and now we have our 4K image on the screen. So what we've just seen is that the PT3H2 can successfully link two 10 meter runs of cable to send a 4K signal whereas the passive adapter could not. So now we're moving from a scenario where you've just got an inline adapter between two cables to one where you wish to pass the signal through a table or through a wall. And now Kramer can complete that offering with the W3H2 and the WP3H2. So the W3H2, which is this little product here, can be mounted into a T-Bus or other table architectural product. And the WP3H2 is an 80 or 86 millimeter wall plate, and US versions are also available. So here we're going to plug the W3H into the system. So that's the output, as if it was in a table architectural product like the T bus, and then I would be plugging in my cable like that and now we get our 4K60444 image. So now we're going to do the same thing with the wall plate version, the WP3H2. So here we are, this is our cable running from the display into the wall and I would come in with my cable like this and plug it in and then I'd have my 4K image over the two lots of 10 meter cable. So there's still one issue that we need to discuss, and that is how do we connect the extenders that we've looked at today to an active cable? And the reason I say that is because the active cable, the CAHM82 cable that we've got in front of us, and the PT3H2, for example, both require power. And quite often, you'll find that the source or display device don't provide enough power for both systems to work together. And uh, we're going to just show that now. So if I take my PT3H2 and connect it up, let's get it the right way around for the demonstration. So I've connected the CAHM82 and my 10 meter cable, and I'm still not getting a picture on the screen. Okay? But if I provide power 
from the 5 volt cable that's provided with the PT3H2, I can get a picture on screen. And that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm now going to connect the active cable to the passive cable using the PT3H2, but this time I'm going to provide power. And now I do get an image on screen. So whilst the PT3H2 is provided with a USB cable, the W3H2 comes with a 5 volt power adapter, as does the wall plate version, the WP3H2. So let's have a quick recap over what we've shown. We've shown, first of all, that joining two long lengths of cable together with a passive adapter doesn't always give you an image on display. And then we've shown you how using the Kramer PT3H2, the W3H2 or the WP3H2, you can join two lengths of cable together and still get an image. Then we talked about how when you have two items together that both require power, sometimes you have an issue with that. And we've shown again that by powering the PT3H2, the W3H2 and the WP3H2 with the various power methods that are provided with the units, that again you can get the required image on screen. For more information on Kramer's range extenders and of course our cables, please visit our website. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.